is amazing. I can see that everybody is clapping here. So JD sir is head of competency center. Uh, he's our chief guest today. And he is basically, we call him JD sir uh, lovingly. Uh, Jitendra Dutt Sharma is his full name. But we all uh, actually uh, call him JD sir. He is head of competency center Amdocs Quality Engineering Services. He is a veteran IT professional who started his professional journey from early stage of computerization. And he has seen all the phases of digital transformation. He is a pioneer in his area. Uh, and he is still doing a lot of uh, cutting edge technology work. JD sir has his lot of wealth of knowledge, but I've experienced he is one of the most humble person. I've met him so many times. He is really a humble person. He believes in sharing knowledge and helping community initiatives. He has been a keynote speaker in leading global testing conferences and believes in leading by example. He was a keynote speaker for GTR in 2019 as well. His passion is to help in community learning and he has started sharing his experience through JD Talk Video Series. You may connect with him later to find out more about it. With that, I will stop the sharing and I would like to basically call upon JD, sir. Okay. Uh, so good morning, everybody. I hope you are able to hear me. First of all, thank you, ATA, for uh, organizing a virtual meet. Uh, it, it's important. We all know that we enter into this unknown territory by surprise. And this surprise has not given any time to us. So most of us were reactive. We have to react to the situation. And I can see that most of the organization, most of the professional, they, they quickly switched to the new environment. Okay, they started working from home. They started doing the things which, uh, which they have never done. You were never in the uh, home for 24 hours for so many days and that kind of situation. But that situation is already prevailing. It will prevail. But some of the proactive things which we can do it, okay, for which we need to start planning. One of them is learning. Okay. And learning can be continued by this kind of a virtual discussion. So this is the topic of uh, my today's uh, session. I will be sharing my screen. Uh, I hope you are able to see my screen. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So let me check. Yes, we can see the screen now, sir. Okay. Okay. So self-learning and development in turbulence time. This is what uh, I'm going to talk for 15, 20 minutes. I'll not take much time, but I will be touching some of it. This turbulence time is, uh, is uh, on one side, we have to work. Uh, we have to work in a, a different mode. Uh, there are different challenges. But at the same time, the, the uh, learning and development we cannot uh, keep aside because this is a mandatory thing. This new environment is also helping us to learn some of the things that we have never thought of. Okay. You would have never seen that most of the organizations are in 100% BCP. Right? They've never tested this environment. World has never tested. Any kind of BCP was that okay, uh, one site can go down, one uh, country can go down, but not the whole world is going down. Okay, and still we have find a mechanism to work. Lot of new things you will be learning every day that how to work effectively, how to work from home effectively, how to communicate effectively. So all these learning, which you have never thought, you've started learning. If I come to the virtual meet, so virtual learning is not something which is uh, which is uh, new. If you see this story of Eklavya, the Eklavya was a person that who learned things virtually. Why? Because Kaurav and Pandav was having a, a, a privilege with Dronacharya as his uh, as their guru. At the same time, they were going to a gurukul they were being given a proper training. You can call it as a classroom training. But Eklavya was a, uh, not having this kind of privilege because he was not a Rajkumar. So what he started doing it, he started observing that how Dronachar is giving training to them and he started learning by himself. And he did excellence in the field 
even better than the people who were trained in the classroom are the, are the good people. So this virtual learning, if you go to Hindu mythology, you will find it many examples like that, but a clever example is very prominent. We are in this situation today. So the, what lesson we are learning from this story? Virtual learning is a need of the hour. Okay. Independent learning with basic guidance. You may have basic guidance. You may not be having a full-fledged classroom all the time. You may be having basic guidance that okay, this is what we can learn. These are the things we can explore. But rest of the things is depending on you. That you need to explore by yourself. Okay. You need to find a mechanism that in isolation, how we can develop ourselves. How we can continue to uh, learn new things. Learning motivation to achieve. This is most important part that learning motivation is important. You need to have a zeal to learn. We cannot sit idle that, okay, now everything is work from home. I cannot go to the office. I cannot go to seminars. And, uh, okay, so my learning is stopped. Not at all. If you will do that, what will happen? That after some time, we will stop learning the thing and we may become lazy. So learning motivation to be kept alive, this is, this is the key. Another thing is utilizing the available infrastructure to achieve it. You can again go back to the story of Eckler. They're not having infrastructure. He might not have a good Dhanush and Ban. He might not have a place to uh, do the thing which he's supposed to. So minimum infrastructure he might be having. And this is the reality today that you need to utilize whatever you have. Although the infrastructure is not limited in today's world, you have a whole Google, YouTube, and many other uh, way to learn the thing. But still, we need to see that whatever is available, based on that, we need to continue our learning. And we need to achieve the best. So from this learning, three things is important. One is independent learning. Focus on independent learning. Focus on the motivation. And utilize the available resources and continue. Coming back to this picture, I don't know that how many of you have been in this situation. When we were studying in the college, yes, there was a classroom. We were having a classroom session. But at the same time, we used to go to a library. We sit in the library, uh, having a book in one corner of the library. The library used to be very silent. And we study that. Some of us were going to uh, during during exam time, or maybe a few days before exam, we start going to some of the garden, okay, and read in isolation because there may not be enough privacy in the home or enough silence in the home. Uh, you have kids, you have parents, you have all other things. So what we used to do, we find some garden or some place or maybe a, a banyan tree where we go and sit over there and we study, okay. I'm sure that many of you would have experience, not uh, the millennials, but uh, but I'm sure that the, the age of uh, um, other age people might have gone through this kind of. Uh, okay, so what was it? It was again that studying in silo. Although you have a classroom, but still you are learning some of the thing by yourself. Okay. Coming back to another thing. We talked about learning. Now let's talk about that development, innovation. You cannot put it on hold, right? Because today the situation is that you don't know that how long the situation will prevail. Maybe one month, maybe two months, we don't know. Maybe it will be uh, sorted out in uh, some of the places. Maybe uh, some of the places will still continue. We really don't know. Does not mean that we can stop innovation. And if you see the picture, which is CV Raman picture, it is not necessary that all the great products were developed uh, or invented in the lab. Okay. Some of the things most of the scientists were used to do is they were going to the lab or they will, they will be doing the things in their lab, but at the same time, they will set up a small lab in their house and they continue to innovate. They've not stopped things because things was uh, not in the favor. Okay. So the message here is 
that you should continue to develop a new product. You should continue to innovate. You need to be creative all the time. Why we need to innovate? We need to innovate now so that sun will shine brighter. We are sure that after this phase will be over, maybe a month, two months, whatever time it is, sun will shine brighter. Right. Why? Because the moment things will uh, change, you will, you will come up with more ideas. Because you have faced such situation which was not there earlier. So what you will do? Think on enriching your product or services through learning in this area. The experience which is done by you now or by all of us now, this is giving some kind of challenges in front of what will happen in this is the scenario. There may be some new scenario. What we need to do is think on enriching your product or service. Okay. Develop innovative solution for business continuity or automation. One uh, challenge which you all might be observing, IT can work from home. Some of the other services can work from home or remotely. But not all the services are working remotely. Right? Manufacturing is almost stopped. Or there may be some other thing which is stopped. If we think today that okay, this kind of situation is there, so how to automate the thing? How to develop something which can be worked remotely or which can, which can uh, help to continue our business whether it is manufacturing, whether it is IT, whether it is health services, or some other thing. So all those innovative solutions we need to think. And this is the time to think. A startup may invest time in new product development. Why I'm coming to this? Because we know that during this time, some of the startup may face heat. They have a manpower, but they might be in services and the offices are not open and the new need probably not going to. So what to do? In this case, they should look for the opportunity and they need to start developing the product so that the moment things will improve, they'll be ready with it. They can utilize this time for product. So these are the things which we need to continue to focus in terms of innovation and development. Okay. Uh, the most important and the big challenge in front of all of us. That during this time, when you are under lockdown and you are at your home, how to collaborate, how to visit us, how to do the networking, right? If this meetup would have happened in uh, some of the hotel or some of the hall, probably you'll be meeting each other face to face, you'll be introducing, you'll be exchanging cards, chatting, you'll be doing the networking and other things. The challenge is how to do it now. So it is not that you cannot do it now also. How it can be done? First of all, whenever you uh, have a time, please talk to your peers, talk to the people. You might have some of the contact which you have not used so far, for which you are not having a time to talk to them. Okay, you should connect those broken threads. This is the time for that. Okay, another thing which you can do is, Aditya is going to publish all those 31 uh, names or 35 names or 38 names. Those people you can contact one to one after the conference. But you have to see the phone number or the link to People are willing to talk outside the world to break monotony. Today, people are people want to talk. If somebody will not be giving a time, maybe two months before, because he is busy in his day to day or he is busy in his uh, uh, multiple activities, probably today if you will try to contact him, he will. So, so this is the these are the things which you can uh, do it. Uh, uh, together, you may find new synergy. Try to connect in a small group on a video conferencing and 
your brain is forming session how i can help you understand the other's challenges talk about your challenges probably people can find and people can work and there can be new synergies if you will develop which can help us in your future so bottom line here is that learning should not stop this kind of virtual meet should not be only today it can be done almost very frequently okay you can have a discussion you can meet with the people over video phone all the way you would like to and you like this time this is this is uh, at a high level i would like to uh, talk about it uh, over to aditya or anybody has some question for sure sir thank you so much just give me a second uh, guys if you have any questions would you like to ask jerry sir sir can i share the screen my screen i will just like yes 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 please please i will stop all right guys so can we have a big round of applause for him so i guess a lot of applauded in the uh, auditorium as well i think jd sir it was wonderful session you touched upon key things about why basically collaboration is important why virtual meet up is really required thank you so much sir i would like to thank you so much for uh, doing this for us and being with us and supporting the community initiative uh, not only for ata for others as well thank you so much sir thank you aditya it's a, it's a learning for me also uh, so let me tell you very honestly and that uh, i know that uh, time to time webinars are happening and all other things are happening but that time was a regular time and people used to attend it because uh, uh, because of some other reason okay but this time uh, having such kind of uh, meet up is a need of our so it is it is a mandatory kind of a thing while the webinars and other thing which we were doing it is a, yes people want to learn and they were attending it but now people don't have any other option to learn so having this kind of meet up will help them and uh, thank you very much for inviting me to this session